The targeted carpet bombing of London began on the 7th of September 1940. From then on, the Luftwaffe, the German Air Force, attacked the airspace of the British capital almost continuously. The Germans were convinced that the bombing of London would break the spirit of its inhabitants and cause such damage to England that the landing of troops on the British Isles would simply not be necessary. The country would capitulate and withdraw from the war. For the first 57 days, the attacks were daily. Here's what local newspapers wrote. Incendiary bombs and fire destroyed a historic Dutch house in London. But readers are still rushing to its library. And despite the subtle British humor inherent in the telling, the consequences of the shelling were terrifying. The destruction was unprecedented, as was the number of victims. Londoners spent weeks sleeping in the subway, putting out fires, losing relatives, watching them die, or miraculously digging their own family members out of the debris. Ammunition that did not detonate became a common occurrence in homes and crowded places. On the 17th of October 1940, a German bomb fell on a house in Shoreditch, East London, but did not explode. Private Sailor Bennett Southwell and his commander, Sub-Lieutenant Jack Easton, were called to the rescue. Easton decided to try to defuse the bomb where it was lying. The sappers heard a ticking. A powerful explosion occurred in the house which destroyed almost everything. Easton was buried under the rubble from the explosion but was eventually found and saved. Southwell was hit by the wave of the blast and died. For their actions, the sappers were awarded the St. George's Cross by King George VI at Buckingham Palace in October 1941. The London Blitz lasted eight months. During this time, more than 40,000 people were killed by the bombardment and about 1.4 million were left homeless. 